Good morning. Yeah. Oh, you want. Go Good ahead. morning. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good morning. I keep hearing from Republicans you say we're going to follow the facts where we lead on this impeachment investigation. But aren't there going to be a lot of conservatives in your party because this has been drummed up for so long? We're going to do impeachment. We're looking at these tax records. We're looking at the Hunter Biden stuff here. That if you guys don't call an impeachment vote in the next few months, they're going to say, wait a minute. That's it. I mean, haven't you put them over the barrel a little bit if you, in fact, do not have a vote to impeach the President of the United States in a couple of months? Chad, we're following the Constitution, and I've made this very clear. Remember, my background is constitutional law. I served on impeachment defense team twice under President Trump. We developed, unfortunately, Elisa and I an expertise in this area. This is not something they really covered in law school. Uh, what you know about impeachment, if you look at the Constitution, is it's a heavy authority that's given to the House, specifically to the House. That's where the, the power lies. And next to the declaration of war, you've all heard me say many times, I think it may be the heaviest power that we have. It's very, very serious business. It has to be conducted in that way. The impeachment inquiry is necessary now, as, our, as Whip Emmer just explained, because we've come to this impasse where following the facts where they lead is hitting a stone wall because the White House is impeding that investigation now. They're not allowing witnesses to come forward and thousands of pages of documents. So we have no choice to fulfill our constitutional responsibility. We have to take the next step. We're not making a political decision. It's not. It's a legal decision. So people have feelings about it one way or the other. We can't prejudge the outcome. The Constitution does not permit us to do so. We have to follow the truth where it takes us, and that is exactly what we're going to do. And I'll note, too, I know that, that, that people are um, you know, frustrated sometimes with the, the time that's being invested in this, but this is the way the founders anticipated that something like this would go. There, there's no, there shouldn't be any such thing as a snap impeachment, a sham impeachment like the Democrats did against President Trump. This is the opposite of that. And that's why people are getting restless, because they want things to happen quickly. If you follow the Constitution and you do the right thing, you cannot rush it. You have to follow the facts. So, but you don't think there's an expectation by the base that, that you guys are, are going to, again, I know all these <laughs> predicates and caveats here. There's not an expectation that your side is going to impeach the Check, president because, Check, because that's what they were elected in the majority for. People have a lot of opinions and a lot of expectations on all sides. What we are bound to do because of our oath to the Constitution is to follow it, and that's what we're going to do. Next question. And, yeah. and just to follow up on that, thank you.